Hello everyone. In our previous class, we've got some basic idea about system tree. And today, we will look at some practical tasks based on what we had discussed earlier. And just like every class, of course, something will be new with our previous task. So without wasting any time, let's start today's lesson. Our topic was system tray. So here you can see our overview of system tray. This is the right part of the, our taskbar. I'm going to show you this is our whole taskbar. You can see this is our taskbar. This is our left side and our system tray it is placed at the right side. And within this system tray area, here are the few options that we can use for various purposes. From the left of this system tray, we can see an arrow. If we click on it, we can see some hidden icons based on different applications after it we can see notifications that's why it is called another name of notification area so from here we can get various notifications from our systems it may be if our system requires update, if any other applications requires update or any kind of registration or any kind of installation is failed. Well, after it, we can see our network connectivity. You can see network signal. If we click on it, we can see how many devices are active right now. How many devices is connected with internet or if you have some other network then what are the type of devices okay so this was our network after it you can see volume control so this is the volume control and we can adjust our sound from here. So if we want to adjust, what we have to do? We just need to click on it. We can see a progress bar over here. As per our requirement, we can increase or decrease our sound. Not only that, look at the below. There is a Mixer. Mixer means if we want to control separately the volume of other applications, then we can use Mixer. Okay. Now let's see what is the next. This is date and time. Sometimes we can see the date and time option is not set. So for that what we can do, we can set our date and time manually. If we want to set our date and time manually, we have to click on it. You can see here, change date and time settings, this one. We just need to click on it. This is the dialog box, what we can see. So within this date and time tab, we have to click on change date and time option. Now look, months. As my date and time is updated, I am not going to change, I am just going to show you how you can change this all. You can see the month name July 2020 and just aside of it, both side there is two arrow. 
if we click on the right arrow then just look all the month will comes one by one after the present month here our present month is set as July 2020 so all the months will come after July we can see all the months which are comes after July August, September, October, November, December At the same way if we press the left left arrow then all the previous months will comes up just imagine our present month right now you can see on the screen November 2020 but it is not which month it is July so if we want to move from November to July that's mean we have to move for previous so click on the left arrow look October September August and July now here is the time you can see just below of the clock what we can do we can change the time here we just need to click on this time and here is our minute second you can see the format is hour minute and second the time is right now 11 3 37 whatever so if we want to change this then we just need to click on it you can see the cursor is blinking here now we can use our backspace and we may write anything suppose I may write 5 so it comes 5 so like this way you can edit from your keyboard and after that PM or AM as per our requirement we need to change it we may type it along with again two arrow up and down arrow you can see just a side of it if we click then you can see AM PM as per our requirement it will comes up and then click on OK then your time will change date and time will be changed by this way we can change our date and time of our system alright but now I will click on cancel as already my date and time is set so I don't need to change it that's why I'm clicking on cancel button otherwise if you want to change it you have to click on OK button just aside of cancel you can see but now I'm going to click on cancel button again cancel so date and time we can set like this way after that so desktop why it is here so desktop if any application is open and we want to minimize it directly then we can click on this area if we click on this then we can come to our desktop directly okay so this was our all system tray and all of its application again I am telling you from the left there is the arrow if we click on it we can see all the hidden icons after it the notification it can show different type of notifications regarding the registration regarding the upgradation various types of notification will comes up after that your network status I mean your device is connected with internet or not or any kind of network if it is connected with not only for internet for different kind of network it will show the progress of that network network signal network strength you can see here after that your volume control is here if we click on it we can change the volume level we can increase or decrease as per our requirement next is date and time settings from here we can change our present date and time as per our requirement and obviously if it is needed otherwise don't change your date and time if it is correct don't try to change it 
next is show desktop if we click on it all the application what is open right now those all will minimize and you can see the desktop directly well that's all for today no more today thank you have a nice day take care and see you soon in the next video till then stay home and stay safe